you don't think there should be a centralized place for news? There isn't now. Well, that, well that's what mainstream media is supposed to represent, it's and it's broken. Well, it's not whatever, uh, what, what do you call that? The, a place where people traditionally said was the, like the legitimate source of truth. No, that's I, what the I, media was supposed to represent. No, I, so I, I, that's their that's their big branding uh, accomplishment. It's a complete, it's, that a complete was lie. never true. Yeah, because if you we, here's what happens: we remember the Spanish American War, remember the Maine. We have to take Cuba, yellow journalism, William Randolph Hearst, right? Then record scratch, and then we were all objective. Like, when did this transition happen? According to you people, when you were saying that the Kaiser is uh, the worst human being on earth. When you were downplaying uh, Stalin and, and downplaying Hitler's atrocities, when when you were saying we had to be in Vietnam, at what point uh, WMDs? When did it change? It never changed. You just are better con artists at a certain point, and now the mask is dropping. Yeah, but th th don't you think there's um, at its best, like investigative journalism can uncover tr truth in a way that um, that like Reddit uh, subreddits can't. You know, like, Reddit. Sure, I agree. At its best, absolutely. That's not even a dispute. But like, uh, don't you think uh, f like fake it until you make it is the right way to do it? Meaning like the- Make the news? No, no, no. I meant the news saying like, we dream of doing, of arriving at the truth and reporting the truth. They don't say that. CNN had an advertisement that said, this is an apple. We only report facts. That's a lie. No, that's now, and now it's clear things have changed. And they haven't changed. You're just more ob you're more aware, aware of, of chicanery. But okay, so the <laughs> how many people died in Iraq because Saddam Hussein was about to launch WMDs? Who had consequences for this? No one. This isn't yeah. a minor thing. This is lots of dead people. Yeah, and also, I mean, dead people. It's horrible, but also the money, which has, like we said, economic effects. That Marion Williamson, I think it was, it was had the or Trump, both of them had the great point that goes, "That's like a trillion dollars. How many schools would that build? How many roads would that yeah. build? Even in, in, here, why are we building hospitals in Iraq that we destroyed when we could be building hospitals here? It makes no sense. It's horrifying. So who's responsible for that? Like who? Um... Alex Jones. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant for well. Uh, so who's responsible for arriving at the truth? of that, of speaking to the money spent on, I think this on the is, wars in Iraq. This or? is one of the great things about social media. Uh, Twitter, you have faith in Twitter. Not just, not specifically Twitter, but yes, social media as a whole, when anyone can be, here's a great, another great example. Before, if you were talking about police brutality or these riots, you would have to perceive it in the way it was framed and presented to you. Nicholas Sandman is another example. Uh, Breonna Taylor, all these things. Well, we don't have footage of her. Um, you would have to perceive in the way that it's edited and presented to you by the corporate press. Now everyone is a video has a video camera. Everyone has their perspective, and it's very useful when these incidents happen, where you could see the same incident from several angles, and you don't need Don Lemon or Chris Wallace to tell me what this means. I can see with my own eyes. Yeah, I've I've been very uh, pleasantly surprised about the power. See, like people, the mob again gets in the way. They get emotional sure. and they destroy like the the ability for people to reason, but you're right that truth is unobstructed on social media. Like if you're if you're careful and patient, you can see the truth. Yeah. Like for example, data on COVID, some of the best sources are doctors. Like if you want to know the truth about the coronavirus, of what's happening, is uh there's follow people on Twitter. Yeah. There's certain people that are yeah. just like source of information versus the CDC and the WHO. Right. It's, that's that's fast. I mean, it's, well, it's kind of anarchy, right? It's, yes, uh, it is. It's, it's not emergent. kind of, it is anarchy, yes. I mean, well, there's some censorship and all that kind of stuff. You have censorship under anarchy in the sense that you're talking about, like people be kicked off of Twitter. That's a drawing boundaries. How do you kick somebody, okay. So, I mean, it's a- Private company. Private company. Most people wouldn't say Twitter is working, but they that's probably because they take for granted how well it's working and they're just complaining about the small part of it that's broken. Right. Yeah. Okay, another question you about- feel, You feel better? No, by the way, I mean, you, I had a personal gripe with the situation about the, um, not a personal gripe, but I felt overly emotional 
about um, the possibility that there will be some of, of Donald Trump messing with the election process. But you made me feel better, like Good. saying like he if he had a bunch of opportunities to um to do what like it, to do what I would have done if I was a dictator, I would um, the first time those riots over George Floyd. Yep. I would instituted um, martial law. Do you know what I remember very vividly is after 9-11 and everyone was waiting for George Bush to give his speech and he had 98% approval rating. And I remember very vividly because if he had said, we're suspending the constitution, everyone would have cheered for him. Like he couldn't get enough support at that yeah. time and he didn't do it. And I can't say anything really good about George W. Bush. I'm not a fan of his, to say the least. So I think you and I, and you know, other people who are familiar with you know uh, totalitarian regimes to some extent from our ancestry or whatever, from research, should always be the ones freaking out and warning. But we should also be aware of we got a ways to go before it's Hitler. And thankfully, uh, there are a lot of dominoes that have to fall into place before Hitler, it's like the game Secret Hitler, it's a board game, before Hitler becomes Hitler. Like it's not, e there, especially yeah. in America, there's lots of things that have to happen before you really get to that point. I mean, FDR was for all intents and purposes a dictator, but even then the worst you could say, and this is not something that you should take lightly, was internment of Japanese citizens, but they weren't murdered. Uh, they weren't, you know, uh, you know, under lock and key in the sense of like in cells. So things could have yeah, gotten yeah. a lot worse for him.